Hey, Walking Dead fans, let's do a video and discuss a little bit about the theories and thoughts that you guys have, some of the thoughts that I have on that voice that we heard on the radio at the end of Season 9. So, spoiler alert if you're not caught up to Season 9. Okay, what did the voice say when it came on the radio? As we know, Ezekiel and Judith was talking on the radio at the end of Season 9 finale. They got up and left the room, left their radio, and a voice came over. And what did it say? Hello? Hello? Calling out live on the open air. Is anybody out there? And it was a female's voice. If you've seen a few of my earlier videos, I talked about the Rick's voice and stuff and never thought it would be Rick's actual voice on the radio. There may be some connection to whoever it is or whatever group that is or community. There may be some connection to the movies and Rick. We'll just have to see about that. But it's definitely a female voice and that's what it was in the comic. So I won't go into great detail about the comic and what happened, but it is that group, the Commonwealth. They're 50,000 strong. They're a big group. And that's who uh, part of that group gets in contact with Eugene in the comics over the radio. So like I say, not explaining the whole comic thing, but in the comics, the Pike scene had just happened, just like in the show. One of the deaths in the comic was Rosita. That was Eugene's love interest. Eugene's pretty down and out about right now, and he's on the radio just tinkering. Tinkering with that radio really, you know, got his mind off things, and uh, he got it up and going, and he likes tinkering with it, trying to reach out, trying to see if anybody's out there in the world. And for you guys who have read the comic, I do think that Rosita going, since she wasn't on the Pikes, and her going into a relationship with Gabriel could be on purpose. Why? Because of what happens between Eugene and Stephanie in the comics. That storyline can easily play out now. Even though Rosita's head wasn't on a pike, she's with Gabriel, so it should play out okay, or could play out okay if that's who was on the radio. So real quick, before we move on to Jadis and some of the others and talk about those, let me touch on Fear the Walking Dead real quick. A lot of you guys have commented you think it's someone from Fear the Walking Dead. Could be Alicia, could be June, could be Luciana, and that's a possibility. Um, you know, that's definitely something to discuss and flesh out more in the comments below. But just as far as this video goes, as far as the things I have seen, read, looked at, and just my own thoughts about the whole thing, I don't think Fear the Walking Dead is going to tie into the main show right now like this. You definitely have to think about how and why and those kind of things. And as far as the any handheld radio that they may have or CB, you know, it may not reach as far as Eugene's radio can reach. So they can't talk back even if they might could hear possibly i don't know but we did see john dory with a better radio possibly ham radio possibly has a pretty decent antenna they might could reach out pretty far but i just don't think it's them or tied to them at this moment i do think they are using the radio to reach out and try to find people and help people that's kind of what they're doing in that show right now I just don't think it's a tie-in with Fear the Walking Dead. So let's stop a minute and talk about Maggie or Georgie or Jadis. You know, they mentioned Maggie about the letters in the show, this last season nine finale show. They've sent letters to Maggie they haven't heard back. And still nothing from Maggie. The council sent another letter, but we haven't had anything back. And earlier in the season, we know that letters were coming back and forth between the hilltop and wherever Maggie is or was between Jesus and Maggie. We definitely don't know how those letters get back and forth, so she should know about the deaths and everything that's going on. That's kind of why they're reaching out to her, saying, hey, all this drama is happening with the communities. If you can come back, now's a good time. One big clue that's telling me that it's not Maggie is that's a different story, and you know they created some things in the show, like the junkyard people for a certain reason, to play a certain role, uh, to do certain things, to make certain things happen, so these characters would do this or that. Or maybe even that they made a good escape for Andrew Lincoln when Rick wants to leave the show. Hey, that mystery helicopter thing with Jadis, at any time, boom, let's just ride it in where he can fly away. I just think they needed an exit for Maggie, the character, and maybe in a way that she could possibly come back to the show. 
and that was Georgie. Do they have all of that figured out? Possibly. Is it a big part of the story right now? Possibly not. It's just in the real world, the actress Lauren Cohen is um, doing pretty good, and she's busy, and she's doing other things. She wants to kind of come back to the show. Angela Kang wants her to kind of come back to the show. But will she get the time to? Um, she may just have to make an appearance here or there. You know, Angela Kang in interviews has said that we're going to continue that story, touch that story again in season 10, and it's very exciting. Uh, it's going to change the direction of her characters. That's not uh, Maggie's group, I don't think. So let's turn it around. Could it be Jadis? It could, but I don't think it is. I think the big question about all of that is, does does the Rick movies and Commonwealth have to do with each other? And they may. They may be the exact same thing. Those helicopters may belong to Commonwealth. I have a sneaky suspicion, though, uh, just a prediction of mine, is that the helicopter group is its own thing, and the movies will kind of be their own story. Not that they won't relate back to the show in different ways and with different characters but i just think they're not going to continue the commonwealth story in the movies or anything i think the commonwealth story will be in season 11 maybe starting around season 11 and most of that story i'm thinking should play out in the show if the commonwealth story goes to the movies is it going to play alongside the show and both things be in the show and the movie or like i'm saying Possibly the helicopter group is a group in itself, not the Commonwealth, not Georgie. It's its own story arc, saved just, or moved, I guess you could say, from the show, just for the movies. Michonne could interact in it. She has a limited appearance in season 10. And it's not sure if she's leaving the show for good, or if she's going to kind of be like Maggie wants to be, just come back here and there, and they're going to keep her alive. But that would put Maggie and... Georgie and whatever's happening with them in their own little story arc and that's kept in the show as far as for right now Jadis of course is in the Rick storyline or whatever the helicopter group is of course that's not to say that the movie whatever story arc that helicopter group is is taking won't interact with the show somehow or characters go from the show to the movies possibly even back but you know, after season 10, The Whisper War should wrap up. The show needs a story arc, you know, of its own. And I'm just thinking that's the connection, Commonwealth, Stephanie, that's going to be the story arc saved for the show. Fear the Walking Dead, some spinoff series, you know, other things could interact and relate to each other in different ways, but I think each one will have its own pretty much story arc. And Angela Kang said in an interview about how they're working Gimple and the movie thing is being done somewhere else. She's working on the show in her little corner. And I'm just thinking there would have to be a ton of collaboration going on if the movie story arc and the show story arc was kind of one in the same. I think they'll be different. But let's say Jadis is at the Commonwealth and the voice on the radio was the Commonwealth. I still don't think it was Jadis. I'm still going and aiming towards Stephanie, the one in the comic. I don't think they changed that part up. They may change up who the Commonwealth is, kind of who they're connected to, or they may pull the Rick movies into it all. But I'm thinking right here in this moment, who was the voice on the radio? I'm just putting my money on Stephanie. So let's say season 10 is wrapping up and the Whisperer War is over. Let's hope it's over by the end of season 10. I hope they don't stretch it out very long. You know, they may be scared of catching up with Robert Kirkman's comic story and passing it and then have to make up their own stuff past that point, kind of like Game of Thrones did. Dude didn't finish writing all the books, and now they're on their last season of the show. So that's the only way I could see them really dragging something out. But, you know, the show has to have its storyline. That's why I don't think they're just going to throw it into the movies or make it both. That may overcomplicate things. But for the basic question, who was the voice on the radio? I'm going to go with Stephanie. They may fool us. They may trick us. It may be somebody totally different than any of us have even thought. But I know a lot of you think about Maggie. A lot of you are uh, pointing at Jadis. Some pointing at Georgie. And some people are still saying that it's Rick, but just someone with Rick. So this opens up the discussion in the comments below. Let me know your theories, your thoughts. All right, that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more dead stuff.